What do you imagine when you think of science? Is it something in space with time travelers, robots and a young dorky guy who knows pretty much everything opposed to the middle-aged man, a sociopath that wants to make human experiments? Well, if your mind has fallen for some of those stereotypes, there is no shame. Actually, those images have been fueling science for a very long time and whilst they provided us with a passion and direction for our research, they also communicated everybody else that scientists don't really care about our daily life. Well, it was a year ago when I realized there was a gap in the way science is communicated, especially when it comes to sci-fi. And I could have moaned about it myself, but then I needed a new project, so I came up with this. This is Quasi-Human, a scientifically accurate fiction. It's a book, it has pages and words, and it tells you the story of two people. Uh, both of them are suffering from a condition called spinal cord injury, which means they're on a wheelchair. Now, one of them is an engineer who has been hired by a company to make a device that would eventually reverse that condition, and the other one is a young girl who's going to be the first person wearing that device once it's completed. What is interesting about this book is that all the science, technology, and even the way it's achieved, it's kind of real. What I mean by that is there are scientists out there, as you watch this video, in their labs prototyping the same sort of devices based on the same designs and concepts and theory, okay? Now, I used all this to make a story, a sci-fi story, that is told from the eyes of the two protagonists. Protagonists who have very real, very normal issues, but then again their life is going to be shaken by some more adventurous chain of events. So, <clears throat> If you want to know a bit more about this book, there is a website in which you can find more information on the story, the characters, the science, and myself as well. Uh, you can buy this book on Amazon and Kindle Store, and if you want, in the description of the video, there are more links about Facebook, Twitter, and you can subscribe to this channel for more information. Thank you for listening, and take care.